the nation and its heroes let us see how the roles of women were specified in the anti imperialist movement in vietnam and what that tells us about nationalist ideology women as rebels as the nationalist movement grew the status of women came to be questioned and a new image of womanhood emerged writers and political thinkers began idealizing women who rebelled against social norms in the year 1930s a famous novel by nat lin caused a scandal because it showed a woman leaving a forced marriage and marrying someone of her choice someone who was involved in nationalist politics this rebellion against social conventions marked the arrival of the new women in vietnamese society rebel women of the past were similarly celebrated in the year 1913 the nationalist Fan Boy Cho wrote a play based on the lives of the Trung sisters who had fought against Chinese domination in 39 to 43 CE. In this play, he depicted these sisters as patriots fighting to save the Vietnamese nation from the Chinese. After Fan's play, the Trung sisters came to be idealized and glorified. they were depicted in paintings plays and novels as representing the indomitable patriotism of the vietnamese they gathered a force of over 30000 resisted the chinese for 2 years and when ultimately defeated they committed suicide instead of surrendering to the enemy One of the most venerated was Trai O, who lived in the third century CE. Orphaned in childhood, she lived with her brother. On growing up, she left home, went into the jungles, organized a large army, and resisted Chinese rule. Finally, when her army was crushed, she drowned herself. She became a sacred figure, not just a martyr who fought. for the honor of the country nationalists popularized her image to inspire people to action women as warriors in the year 1960s photographs in magazines and journals showed women as brave fighters they were portrayed as young brave and dedicated stories were written to show how happy they felt when they joined the army and could carry a rifle women were represented not only as warriors but also as workers they were shown with a rifle in one hand and a hammer in the other whether young or old women began to be depicted as selflessly working and fighting to save the country as casualties in the war increased in the year 1960s women were urged to join the struggle in larger numbers some stories spoke of their incredible bravery in single handedly killing the enemy many women responded and joined the resistance movement they helped in nursing the wounded constructing underground rooms and tunnels and fighting the enemy along the ho chi minh trail young volunteers kept open 2195 kilometers of strategic roads and guarded 2500 key points they built six air strips neutralized tens of thousands of bombs transported tens of thousands of kilograms of cargo weapons and food and shot down 
15 planes between the year 1965 and 1975 of the 17,000 youth who worked on the trial, 70 to 80 percent were women. Women at Times of Peace By the year 1970s, as peace talks began to get underway and the end of the war seemed near, women were no longer represented as warriors. Now, the image of women as workers begins to predominate. They are shown working in agricultural cooperatives, factories and production units rather than as fighters.